Hi. I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about a few of the different instruments that your pediatrician might use when he or she examines your child. Now, children can find these things kind of scary when you come at them with them, so it's nice if they're familiar with them. A lot of children I see have a doctor's kit at home, and so we often start by comparing my toys to the toys they have. The one we usually use first is this. It's an ophthalmoscope, and it's used for looking in the eye. So I'm going to shine a light in the child's eye while I look through this little hole there to see. When I talk to kids, I talk about, hey, here's a flashlight. Do you like to play with flashlights? So do I. And then I might ask them to look at something on the other side of the room if they're old enough to do so. The next instrument that they'll see, and the one they're usually the most interested in, is this. It's an otoscope. Of course, it's for looking in ears. It's also for looking in noses and mouths. A lot of physicians will use a little insufflator bulb on the otoscope. This helps us see the eardrum move and lets us know whether an ear infection is present or not. I like to have the child touch the light and see that it's not hot and that it doesn't hurt before I actually put it in their ear. I'll also let them feel the little puff of air that I might be blowing in their ear. And then you're going to want to ask them to open up their mouth, which sometimes they do, sometimes they need a little, little encouragement, and I'm going to look up the nose with that. Of course, the uh, tool that everybody is the most familiar with is the one that I keep around my neck right here, and that's the stethoscope. Obviously, it's for listening to the heart and for listening to the lungs. But what you may not know is that when doctors listen to the heart, we don't just listen in one place. We listen in four different places. So as you watch your doctor, you might notice that. And then we're going to go to the back and listen to all different parts of the lungs. We try to encourage kids to breathe while we're doing that, and you can encourage it too by modeling it for them. So, a few of our instruments, the stethoscope, the otoscope, and the ophthalmoscope. Go ahead, if you can, familiarize your child with these, talk to them, and then when I come in with them, they won't be quite so scared. Talking about the instruments your child's doctor uses, I'm Dr. David Hill.